Okay, AP Calculus, AB Volume. We're going to use the washer method today. So, washer method. And it's going to look like this. It's going to look like this. We're going to take this curve, y equals the square root of x, bounded by y equals 0, and x is equal to 4. And we're going to rotate this or revolve this around x is equal to 6. So let's take a quick peek at what this would look like. And it would look like this. It would look like this. It would look like this. And the function would look like this part of the function that we're interested in looks like this it goes from here to here it says that we have a cutoff right we have a cutoff at x is equal to 4 right this is 0 and this has a height of 2 right here and what we're going to be doing is revolving this thing and it's going to do this for us when we revolve it now people get confused as revolving it I'm not saying it's going to go from there to here. Well, I am saying that, but I'm saying it's going to go everywhere in between too. So it's going to be spinning, right? This thing is going to spin like this. And it's going to leave a solid every place it goes. It's going to leave a solid every place it goes. So it's going to go like this. It's going to leave a solid here, here, right? It's going to look something like this in the and oh no it's not oh look at that mistake look at this look at that that's a big deal I'm, i was thinking i better restart this video i'm not going to restart this video this is a crucial mistake that let me see it says we're revolving around x is equal to six so look what's going to happen here it's going to revolve around this line right tragic x is equal to six so this thing look this whole thing is going to go around like this right and the our function is going to reappear like this isn't it so it's going to be doing all this stuff here it's going to be doing this everything i said it's going to do it's going to do that from here and from here and from here and from here and from here but there's going to be a hole a shaft down the middle of it right this looks like one of those um one of those rounded washers, and there's a name for them that they're used on like leather furniture. Is what this thing looks like. So, right, this is so, this. All of this stuff is solid. Like this is all solid around here, right? This is all filled in. So, if you were looking at it from the very bottom, you'd see this blue hole here, and this thing is like this, right? And I wish I had the skills to show you that that this thing is like doing not not in yellow. It's doing this color yellow. It's like doing this where this is the highest point and this is the lowest point the highest point lowest point highest highest point lowest point highest point lowest point highest point lowest point yeah. it'd be so awesome if you could see that and then it would be flat down here at the bottom so i'm hoping maybe you can see what i'm doing here so what we have we have this washer method which is really easy to use and what the washer method says that we want to do is we if we want volume a rotational volume that if we have a hole, whether the hole's all the way through or not, if we have a hole, this one goes all the way through, that we just have to work on that and say, okay, well, we have is equal to pi. This is the area of a circle is what we're working with here, times, right, times the radius of the outside squared minus the radius of the, of the inside squared times dy. Now, this is the washer method. If you're taking, what we're going to be taking is we're going to be taking these sections like this. We're going to be taking this section right here, right? And this is, let this be a three-dimensional, let this be a solid. We're going to take this here, right? So that's where we're going. And because we're taking them this way, as we're taking them as y changes, we have to put this in terms of y. If we were taking it as it rotates around a horizontal line, it would be R of X, right? So the question comes to this: What is we we can hopefully we're going to we're going to discuss how we got to get rid of this blank area here, how we're going to make sure we don't count that as volume, right? So we're going to say, okay, let's take this V volume is equal to this. Oh, and we're going to take this from zero to two, right? Because we're saying as X as Y increases, so we're going from zero to two. We're not going from one to four, right? 
So hopefully that makes sense. So from zero to two, well, how big is the radius of the outside? Well, this is six right here. So it's from here to here. What's that distance? That's six. But as we move up, doesn't the radius get smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller? So how much smaller does it get? Well, it gets smaller by y squared, doesn't it? And that's the outer radius is that. So squared, that's the outer radius. That's this one. Minus, well, what's the inside piece look like? Well, and this is really easy. Just have to look at this. This is that distance that we're concerned about. The distance we're concerned about is right here, right? This is the distance here. Well, we started at 4, and we went to 6. How big is that? Well, that's a radius of 2, right? And remember, it's a radius, so it's going to go to the other side also, right? So we have a radius of 2, so it's 2 squared, right? That's us removing this stuff here. And if you're like, where's the volume? We're going to take the – this is the area. We're going to take the volume out of that with this, okay? So, so far, so good, I hope. And this, of course, is in terms of y, so we have dy. dy means that we're going this way, we're, right? We're partitioning it this way and taking our volumes out there, okay? And remember that as we're taking our volumes out, if we're taking the area of this circle that we slice out, this one here, right? It would go from here and it would go to here, right? It would be blank there, right? But remember, that thing has some depth. And in our case, this is our dy, our change in y here, isn't it? Right? And remember, we have that big piece on the in, that piece on the inside that we don't want to count. So we're kind of counting these rings one at a time. So this might be one of those rings, right? And this is that radius. This is that radius of two in here, right? And this is our radius of. Okay. Hopefully, so far, so good. So this would look like this, and this is kind of the algebra part of it. Just have to expand this thing out. So I'm just going to have to rewrite again. If you're taking the AP uh, Calc exam, get used to this. So it's 36 minus 12y squared plus y to the fourth. All right? That's if I square this. I just foiled this out and I got that, right? Then 2 squared is 4, so minus 4dy, I think. 36 minus 4 is 32, so we have that the volume is equal to the definite integral of 0 to 2 of 32 minus 12y squared plus y to the 4th. Holy macaroni, right? dy, oh my gosh. Okay, here we go. Finally, I'm gonna be able to, we're going to be able to integrate. So we're going to integrate this, aren't we? Going to integrate. So I'm going to drop this crap. Please don't lose this pi because it gives us the volume, right? Otherwise, we just have area. So we have 32y minus, this is, will be y cubed over 3. So negative 12 over 3 is negative 4y cubed. I just simplified that a little bit. Plus 1 fifth y to the fifth as evaluated from 0 to 2. I'm going to use the fundamental theorem of calculus here, FTC, fundamental calculus says that if we want the area, we would take f of b minus f of a. And in this case, if we multiply our area by pi, we get our volume, don't we? So I did that math. I don't know if you want to see it or not. Uh, you know what? I'm going to assume you don't want to see it. So anyway, when I did that, here's – you know what? Let's go to this. Definitely show this. If you're taking the AP exam, at minimum show this because they care more about your calculus than anything. If you can say that you can say that volume is equal to pi times f of 2 minus f of 0, that uh, says to me that you know calculus. So I, I really hope this was helpful, you guys. This is one of those things you're just going to have to keep doing these problems over and over and over until you've seen a million of them. When you do, it's going to get beautiful for you. I swear it is. So please don't give up. Everything is going to be terrific. I'm very proud of you. If you haven't already uh, subscribed, please do. And vaya con Dios.